really the actual high point, I would have thought the for the who in rock terms came a lot earlier. One week I hit a, a cross member and it's just knocked the head of the guitar off and of course the audience laughed, you know, and it made me very, very angry naturally that the audience were laughing and so I thought, how can I turn this into something, you know, real, you know, I mean, like, it's, not, it's not a joke, you know, I'm really freaking out here, you know, if I mean it, I mean it. So I smashed up the whole guitar. I've always felt that maybe I took rock too seriously, but it's hard to really figure out why I feel so strongly, why I feel so involved and committed to rock as a sort of a, if you like, a society changer, you know. I mean, we set out to eliminate the fact when we were young that we were essentially working class, you know. My generation was the scream, you know, to give our fans and the people that were with us the strength to hang on until we did it. And we did it with Tommy. Now we play at the Metropolitan Opera House, and now we play in Moscow, and now we play at Vienna, and now we play, you know, for huge amounts of money and ride around in Rolls Royces. Now we've done it, if you like, for our class. And so the music then comes back to be being required to give people strength, if you like. The entertainment and rock music and everything is there to, to, to bring optimism. Millions and millions and millions of young people live, if you like, a rock and roll life. They live life by music. They live life for music. And, and they, they more or less uh, allow themselves to be, to be led by the music, you know, because the music really comes from them anyway. And uh, the future, I suppose, of rock will always be that, that rock has to, has to say what, what young people want it to say. We 